Greetings from Malta. We current we just um, got the ferry across. Just got the ferry this morning across from Syracuse. Sorry, from Sicily, Pozzalo to Malta here. Just arrived at our hostel. It is hot, but it's like a dry hot. Whereas in Sicily, I was sweating from places I didn't know I could sweat from, like my shins my palms like in between my fingers I was dripping just an update on Sicily it was so nice I can't believe these 10 days flew by so quick my favorite hands down was Syracuse it was like the perfect balance of Palermo and Taumina put together buildings were like so aesthetically beautiful my camera roll escalated from like 0 to 100 there were so many nice um, what do we do in summary in summary I think we had three days in each city so we had three days in Palermo three days in Taumina and three days in Syracuse um, and we did any like day trips out from there so um, and we're so lucky that Pat I met up with Pat and Susan my old Uniqlo mates in Taumina perfect timing for them to arrive yeah and then Syracuse just topped it off and we went out to Ortigia Lockie ate like an arancini a day so he's all arancini'd out he literally did 10 days straight of arancini um, the food was so nice it was so cheap Alright, I gotta go. Bye! And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Sorry. So sad about Tilly's. Yeah, I know, that is really sad. <laughs> <That's interesting. laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to get Speed walk, run maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this. Okay, I'm gonna talk to my camera now. Because I do it. Yeah. Alright, greetings from Palermo, Sicily. This is my mate Lockie. Um, we're on our way to Stefalu. Running very late. We've got like 10 minutes to get, get our train. It's about an hour to Stefalu. An hour? Yeah, 50 minutes. And we're going to spend the day there at the beach. Hopefully we make it. Because the next train's in about an hour and a half after this. Cool. Chefaloo. Oh, so Chefaloo, okay. So none of them. I'm going to get out. Okay. Sun's green coffee. Update, we missed the train by like four minutes. <laughs> so now we've got about an hour till the next one. So we're just going to do a bit of errands, locking in sunscreen. <laughs> and we'll see you in Cephalu in a bit. Cephalu. Apologies. That looks so good. That's stunning. And people just... Good morning guys from Palermo, Sicily. Can't believe I'm finally here. I'm just doing Sicily, um, through the southern part of Italy. I'm not doing mainland Italy this time around. This is my third day here. We've got about a week here before we um, get the ferry across to Malta. <clears throat> Lockie's downstairs waiting at Recky. So I need to head very soon. Um, we're just getting changed quickly. Just getting dressed. Um, yeah, so yesterday we had our first full day of Palermo. We went, uh, we did a day trip to Cefalu, Cefalu, I'm not sure how you say it. It was a, um, a little coastal town. It was so nice. And we were at the beach for quite a few hours. I am like roast chicken. I'm so tanned right now. 
because um, it's been a few months, a f sorry, a few weeks into my Euro summer, and I had the best panini for like a two euro fifty, the best vegetarian panini with eggplant, olives, tomatoes, mozzarella. It was delish, and also cannoli. Um, and I'm excited for today. So today we we're gonna um, suss a bit more of Palermo. Um, Lucky said there's a market here. We're gonna check out, and then what oh, my hair is horrendous. Ignore the hair situation, please. And then we are heading, we've got a market that we're going to um, suss out here in Palermo, and then we're going to go to Mondello Beach um, and chill there for a few hours. And then tomorrow morning, we'll be heading to Taumina. We've got a few days there. We've booked a nicer hotel um, in Taumina just for ourselves. So I'm super excited for that. And then we head to Syracuse for the last couple of days before, um, heading to Malta. I better head to Brecky, um, that's just downstairs. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, like yeah. one meal up. Hey guys, coming to you from Taumina, Sicily. We made it, finally. Firstly, last night we went to a bar crawl, which ended so late. We got home, I don't know, it was like 3, 4 a.m. when we got home and we were meant to get up before 7 a.m. for our um, train that we had pre-booked to Taumina because it was about, it's about a five hour train ride. And it was leaving at 8.30 and instead we woke up at 8.30 both like neither of us woke up because we were just so wrecked um luckily there was a train that left sorry luckily there was a bus that left at 11 so we just made that and then we got two buses and then we arrived here in Taumina at about 4 p.m was meant to be like two um but we made it perfect timing my mate pat and susan are here from melbourne so we're catching up for dinner with them i'm gonna finish getting ready then probably chill for a bit and then head out um head out soon and catch up with pat
Well. Yeah, I'll tell you guys. I think I split the bill. my favourite day of this trip in Sicily. We started the day by hitting up the market where I was the happiest, happiest girl on earth after I found myself some freshly squeezed pomegranate juice, which literally couldn't get any fresher than this. I couldn't get over how nice these buildings were. Everything was just so picturesque, so old-fashioned, but then yet so colourful still. Mr Bean's car. We later that afternoon, it, we walked over to Ortigia, which is kind of like a semi-detached part of Syracuse, and the land kind of extends further into the ocean. My camera roll honestly went zero to a hundred here, watching the cars go by, people sunbaking over the rocks for hours on end and dipping in and out of the water. And we found a spot, we managed to find a spot to do the same. I honestly just can't get over the setup here. This is just surreal, how pretty is this? I can't. <laughs> Golden hour is definitely the favourite part of my day. Hands down. That was a really good restaurant. Later that Arvo nightfall came and we topped off the day by getting beers and watching the sunset by the water, followed by dinner in the cool night, perfect temperatures. It's so weird how everyone is out so late to have dinner. I guess it's just better to have dinner when it's cooled down, but I'm so used to eating dinner so early back home in Oz. Followed off by ice cream, of course, which Lockie wouldn't share with me, <laughs> just to add.
Eight minutes up this hill. Five minutes up, not sure I feel like it's gonna take 15 with our bags. <laughs> this is so nice. What a perfect spot for our last night here in Sicily. Just arrived in Pozzalo, Sweaty Betty's, before our ferry tomorrow from the port here to Malta. So we're staying the night here and there's a dog. You don't understand. <laughs> Hey Lockie, the sun's coming up. I know you come as you please, still I wait so 